Hello, my name's Philip Jones, or to give me the full title, Admiral Sir Philip Jones, the recent head of the Royal Navy as First Sea Lord. And I've got a special message today at this festive time of year for all those in the Maritime Cadet Association. My 40 years in the Royal Navy, and in particular, my leadership of the service at the end, gave me exposure to all sorts of organisations across the country involved in telling the story of Britain and the sea to our people. And I became passionate about making sure we can get that message across. The sea and all things nautical mean so much to our nation, its history, its heritage, and still the way we do so much of our trade and also much of our recreation. One of the other passions I had as First Sea Lord was making sure we can get that message across to the young people of our nation. Because what I saw in my time was just how much value cadet organisations can bring, both to the resilience and independence of our young people, but also their knowledge and love of the sea. Now, I saw that in many organisations in my time, the Volunteer Cadet Corps, the naval sections of the Combined Cadet Force, and I have experience of that myself at school, and of course the Sea Cadet Corps. And I know that like you in the Maritime Cadet Association, what means so much to these organisations is what you can do for young people. But it's hard work to do it. There is a significant administrative leadership and training burden and I know you depend so much on the leadership, both at unit and at national level, and on that all important contribution that your vital volunteers make to what you do. But wherever I've gone and whoever I've met, I've been deeply impressed by the resilience that you build into the cadets from the experience you give them. And in particular, their knowledge and ease about dealing with nautical matters. And that makes cadets more resilient for some of the challenges that life will bring to them. And I think that's really important. Now, 2020 has been a difficult year in so many ways. I was discussing recently with the leadership of the local Sea Cadet Unit, who I'm honoured to be president of, just how hard it's been to achieve training online, to keep development of cadet careers and volunteer training going, and of course, to enable that all important camaraderie that comes from being part of a cadet unit, it's not been easy. But it's never been more important that we do that. And therefore, I hope that all of you involved in the Maritime Cadet Association can redouble your efforts next year when hopefully you can get back into meeting face to face and training live again. And please be assured that all that you do all that you add to the value, the resilience, the toughness, the knowledge and the independence of your cadets is an absolutely vital gift. And I hope you continue to do it for a long time into the future. For now, I wish you all the best at this festive season and thank you for all that you do.